So you uh, use your brain to detect uh, similarities with the group or the similarities. And the people who are part of your group are not going to be a threat. The farther you are from the model that you have of your group, the more uh, potentially threatening is that person, that individual, that situation. And this is an automatic uh, um, uh, uh, method of discrimination. There's not much thinking. Uh, uh, actually, the thinking, there are two systems of thinking described in the brain now. The categorical, which is uh, uh, the, group to, the group member to group member assessment. This is the, the one I, I've been talking about. Uh, you see how much that person or that situation resembles your group, and then uh, uh, you determine how much of a threat is that. Now, in order to survive, any animal needs to make that decision in a really quick manner. And um, there is no time to really think much. Uh, uh, there is no time to use the other system of uh, uh, The other system of uh, thinking, which is the person to person, which is a, uh, a more uh, uh, paced, uh, 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 a slower, individualized analysis of the environment. If, you, if, you, if there's a tiger in the world, uh, you, you don't really have a, uh, time to waste in thinking of the colors of the tiger and the face. You, you really need to either fight or flight. And that's the problem with the uh, this evolutionary trait. Because the thinking here, uh, let me see, I don't know, I think it's this, yeah. The thinking in the categorical system, in the automatic system, is done by these two uh, sections of the brain. The amygdala, which is the uh, uh, processing uh, center of fear and threat, and the hypocampus, which is the, uh, uh, the main uh, memory storage in the brain. So, these two will determine if the uh, environment is giving you a sign of threat or not. And will command the orbitofrontal cortex, which is the, the actually thinking part, the cognitive part, the, 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 the conscious part uh, of, our, of our brain, to uh, have an action, to uh, elicit an action. Now, if you, you don't have, you cannot waste much time when there's a tiger. So the problem with this system in our uh, uh, environment at, uh, as humans is that the memories we store here in the amygdala and the hippocampus will determine the friend or foe reaction. So if you have a, uh, if you live in a culture that is mm, uh, based on exclusive uh, uh, analysis of the environment, that only your group is um, the one that doesn't uh, 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 signifies a threat, and the others are a threat, then from the beginning, from the start, from childhood, you will store that memory here, and that memory, which is automatic or uh, and unconscious, will determine the actions of your orbitofrontal cortex. And even if you develop your person-to-person, uh, -person, uh, more individualized uh, uh, thinking method uh, system, you will always keep the uh, this memories. This, uh, exclusive memories, this uh, uh, friend or foe memories, uh, uh, they are automatic and they will influence your uh, behavior, they can influence your behavior. Now, uh, uh, now, biology describes several types of stigma. There is a perilous stigma, danger, physical violence. That's it, that's the usual, usually the, the most uh, 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 ingrained fear of mental health patients. Are they, are they going to be violent? Are they going to attack? And, and here in, in the audience with the uh, health uh, care practitioners, we all have experienced that uh, uh, fear. And there's a moral stigma, disruption, there are different kinds of stigma. The other one, the only important one is the internalized stigma. 
is the individual self-perception. Because as it happened, we create our uh, image, of, uh, the image of our own body or our own self. And that can be determined by that exclusive culture, by that friend or foe uh, uh, reaction. Now, how does uh, a stigma express it, it, itself? There are three forms of expression. The public, general, the one general public, and in 